What's up, Team Crown? How on a day? Within the help and within the self, welcome back to our channel. All right, guys, I've been longing to talk about this. Um, people living in Obodo Yibo, Europe, US. I've seen multiple videos about these people struggling to survive struggling to eat what is going on over there and guys let us uh, like this video and subscribe um, yeah if you're yet to do so like why is it so difficult for these people to i mean come back home and you know continue life in nigeria you can say oh nigeria is this nigeria is that but i've seen people uh tell me that man it's crazy out there at the same time there are other people who've, who've made it uh through that means you know by traveling um overseas but yeah um after this we'll talk about the dubai issue what is going on in dubai but let's watch this video let me know what you think my people on our way they talk say europe is easy yeah now person cook for his guy is so Sia, na sia, it dey abroad. Na sia, this one I bad way be say it dey cook. They don't know say na answer you for the cook. Say you not get us. I don't want me one no. They want tell you they can believe. Na Africa no. Eh, they know. They get stressed. They get complex. They not go believe. They not believe. Eh. How can tell them that? Say you na isa isa here you dey you dey cook. Um, right guys by the way we have Apostle uh, Suleiman in the news today and the uh, Nollywood actresses you guys know what is um going on the actresses are beginning to debunk the reports as expected Angela Okori came out and I think uh Onua, the actress as well came out to debunk it um I remember we talked about um um Sean, Sean George doing the same thing right but before we um, get into into that or you know show you the videos or read what they posted let's talk about this issue in dubai it's like nigerians in dubai i think i've said this before it's like nigerians in dubai i don't know what to say some of them are the most unserious people some of them because i know uh, responsible um dubai based people you know but this set of people right are killing other people's careers i mean if you're in dubai now as a nigerian um it would be very hard for you to get a job for you to work this could have been avoided if our people are doing the right thing you know i understand once in a while you see bad eggs like like that but it seems like these days they have this click in dubai they damage things they destroy things so after that fight it even became harder to get um the visa i think they said they banned visa application for nigerians let us watch Aremo Afolano, the actor um, as he explains this it's quite uh, dubai government has just banned nigerians uh, nigerian applications uh, for visa entry because of uh, the fight we saw on social media and um uh before that nigerians are not getting job at all they've not lifted the ban even before the sheikh died may so rest in peace amen and um i i think there is an ambassador for to from from nigeria to dubai why can't our ambassador intervene nigerians are not getting job i, I see that is not enough just just the, the, now uh, small groups of african people that i don't even know if they are nigerians even if they are nigerians no problem they make troubles take them to jail do anything to them they deserve it but innocent people that needs to feed they don't have jobs other african people have jobs i've gone to five-star restaurants i've seen other african people walk there even as cleaners some people want big uh, a big job like that as cleaner they can't even they can't find in dubai and there's an ambassador what are you doing are you really an ambassador i don't know you come out i'm i'm lecture us okay guys like i said earlier georgina onora the actress a veteran actress at the bonks the the rumors about her sleeping with because it's on that list posted by Gislova. Uh she said she woke up 
feeling blissful uh of course uh, lord thank you for the wonders of my being i have noticed miscreants coming on my page leaving stupid comments i will warn you if you bring your stupidity to my page oh go kill you <laughs> the amadio that there's a lot i said the mentality of guilt by association needs to stop i keep wondering how people wake up with bullshit about <laughs> others uh that was how i woke up one morning and saw people demanding i pay back money spent on me by their state governor and i'm like governor who close to the last line said how do you address faceless cowards hiding behind keyboards i like bold people and i love to okay she uh she's trying to tell us here that we all I mean, just need to stop believing whatever that's posted by Jis Lover since this person is faceless. Same as Angela Okori. Uh, Angela Okori says, I don't even know why he never still show me in face till now. People are so gullible. How can you believe a faceless, bitter person who only derives joy in bringing people down? What sort of blogging is that? It clearly shows is our intentions. We um, actually have a long way to go in this country. Make it show him face first. Maybe um, now Gislova go be the scapegoat way I define things. Well, um, Queen Mwokwe, uh, you know, the actress herself uh, has got this to say. Let's watch. Good morning, everyone. So I woke up to my name plastered all over social media and I am surprised. A clear conscience, they say, fears no accusation. But my dear, when my reputation is at stake, I need to speak up. When you are in the public eye and you're being accused of something, especially something you didn't do, you're always advised not to talk, to ignore, and trust me, that is what a lot of people count on, to write nonsense. They count on you not speaking up, because when you speak up, you're being bullied. Oh, close your mouth, you did it, ah, hey, they have come out to debunk. Anyway, I am not one to be bullied when it comes to something I didn't do. Most times I see things written about me and I don't talk. I don't bother. But you see this one, I will not keep quiet. I will not because I have a right to what I want my name to be associated with. And this clearly is not one of it. Let me tell you something. Mistakes are a part of life. Everybody makes mistakes. I am not a saint. I have made my own share of mistakes. But you see one mistake I will never make, sleeping with a man of God. God will judge me. Posterity will judge me. It is something I have never even thought of doing. And I will not keep quiet for you to use me to accuse someone or to make someone look bad, especially when I know what you're saying is not true. My conscience will not allow me to do it. And God will not forgive me if I don't speak up. Let's be guided about the things we write and post. Because I don't understand how someone can just wake up and write something you know in your heart of hearts is not true and then post it. Posts go very far. And people tend to believe everything they see on social media. So before you write that thing, before you accuse someone, make sure it is true and you're sure. Because trust me, accusing someone of doing something the person didn't do hurts. It's not funny. It might be entertainment to you, but to the person, it is not. I have never slept with any man of God. I would never sleep with any man of God. My conscience will not even allow me to do it. Thank you. I, I keep wondering, most of these actresses said they've met Apostle Suleiman. They've met him, right? If this report 
or these actresses didn't come out to debunk this information or to say things like this i wouldn't know that most of them have met um, me with opposed to Suleiman at some point in their life now it doesn't have to be sexual but i just wonder it doesn't mean that they are sleeping you know together i just wonder i mean Apostle Suleiman is not in the entertainment industry um it doesn't um he's not an investor in nollywood so what is the 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 a lot of them said they've met him but nothing sexual but i'm just thinking about like the other part like what like why so many actresses a lot of these actresses have actually you know met him but they claim that nothing happened i'm not saying anything happened you know you can be friends with somebody i'm just surprised you know i mean he's a pastor he has a church and he seemed like a busy person you know guys leave your thoughts in the comment section below let's move straight to the next one here we have portable portable um has been disqualified by the headies he was part of the nominees but he's been disqualified first um he threatened other nominees and secondly he, he said you remember he said that he he formed one million boys and Aja boys something like that and uh, the police also um, ask him to report uh, to the station or something look once you become so controversial and it's beginning to like involve the securities uh, the police uh, someone on the street and it might damage your career now portable might be lucky it might be that lucky person who will get away with everything and especially you know in this era where you know controversy sells faster you know you cause chaos and everybody you know want to listen to you you start trending uh, maybe people like portable will get away with it but i mean seeing another video he made another video trying to pass a message saying that i don't even care about you guys awards you know whether you give me an award or not i have fans something i don't know i understand potable is a street dude but i also think that he needs someone who i mean <laughs> even if you try to correct him he will definitely call you out one day so yeah but you need that one person who would kind of like talk sense into him i never regret my action i got talent i got god I got money, I got fame, my logo, I got wife, I got children, you don't know? God bless my family, I got motto, I got house, you don't know? I'm blessed. I quit grace, I quit blessing. Uh, mercy, they follow me. Up, eh? All eyes on me, potable, my life on me. I quit competition, no ripping. Am I for who I want? Eh? What belongs to me, Kony Koda Milabo Long. I got fans, I'm fans me, my jaw for me, I'm a vote for me. Eh, Shine Ball, I tell you, my bottom, my cow see me, I'm a piece of for me, I got God, I got fans. Allah, look at me, Allah, show me. This lady, they call her Enugu Big Girl, and popular wig seller. She's been arrested by NDLEA for drug trafficking. They said she was nabbed, she was nabbed at the airport. Enugu Airport. I was reading, you know, the report and I saw after arriving the country on Ethiopian Airlines flight. Ethiopia. What's up with Ethiopia? These drug dealers use this a lot. The truck, the drug um, traffickers, they use that airline a lot. The flight. Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. Why? Why they prefer <laughs> Ethiopian Airlines, pass all that airline? I don't understand. I beg. Help me understand again. I think somebody explained it. But think about it. The lady, let's say this was successful, right? She will start to oppress other people for social media. That yes, I just hit jackpot. Yes, from I'm working hard. <laughs> and you will be there, you know, thinking about your life. That let's say you're a, a weak seller, right? You'll be like, oh, man, I'm also a weak seller. Look at this person. She probably has a lot of customers than me. You see why you don't need to kill yourself over anything. It doesn't worth it. Okay, moving on to the next one. Here we have um, Ike. Ike finally replied, Mercy AK. I'm dating someone that I'm actually taking care of. We know the person, don't worry, from the house. <laughs> we know the person. We know the person. Don't worry, we know the person. Okay, hold on, hold on. I never said that. No, okay, he, okay. he never said oh, that. Oh, you never stop. dated Ike? I don't know what you're talking about. Period. Period. Yeah. Yo! Calling you his okay. girlfriend. Calling he allegedly. He allegedly, allegedly said that you were his girlfriend. You never dated him. We go, we go. Okay, okay, so I can speak for myself. Yes. I will speak for nobody. Yes. Yes. Okay, so oh, oh, he, he could maybe say that him they date her. She not date her. Uh, this guy 
ikea has been calm for a long time he's just tired or done <laughs> you know with all this information flying around about him and i think Messi ak you know should stop this should stop dragging the guy moving on to the next one um it's crazy what um you know the society has become uh, today this is a girl who preaches right and all of a sudden a video surfaced on social media another video this time not a good video this video shows her twerking let's remove you know the fact that this uh, she was a preacher <laughs> I mean, let's talk about, I mean, uh, age, you know, I mean, what, what happened to parenting? I mean, she's even too small for this. Okay, as a preacher, good, you know, but the transition is just so fast from, from zero to hundred. Don't. The scripture commands us to show contentment by appreciating our parents' provisions for us, meaning be <laughs> Congratulations to this uh, lady. She will welcome um, twin babies after 20 years of waiting. Wow. okay guys let's talk about the situation in nigeria especially the northern part of nigeria you know we complain almost every day about the northern part of nigeria and how you know those people use uh, um, under 18 to win votes and all that and i've seen others um, uh, say that look these people love themselves let us come together to defeat these people you know but they are, they are a lot in numbers though and um other i mean other parts i mean eastern part of nigeria have also you know said it themselves but it's just the oneness that is hard you know it's very easy in the northern part of nigeria and you wonder why it is because again most of them aren't educated whatever they tell them is what they will do because i mean these people who have no education um they only see whatever you you put in front of them that's what they see well, if you tell them that this person is good for you, they will, that's what they see. If you tell them that this person is bad for you, that's what they see. That's why it's very, very easy for Northerners, you know, to win millions of votes. Um, let us read this. Yesterday, my friend, um, that this was posted by Senator Sheo Sani. Yesterday, my friend, a honorable member, has packed out of his mansion in the outskirts of Kaduna. He has rented a two-bedroom apartment in the center of the city bandit missed him twice he is now sharing a garage with a co-tenant he has left his swimming pool and rose garden behind i mean this is what you get this is the result they get yes that is the result right there and again let's let's think about it this guy is um indirectly informing the bandits of his friends whereabouts whether you like it or not <laughs> they will find him no worries I saw this um, report that they said the EFCC arrest Alpha, that's Alpha and Herbalist for allegedly defrauding a KTS of rep aspirants of 24 million under guise of helping him secure tickets. <laughs> ah, so he had to go spiritual, right? To secure tickets. Let me read what these people, these people said well, after they, you know, they got caught. They said, our our own is just to pray <laughs> our own is just to pray and do the necessary sacrifices which we did and to leave the rest to god <laughs> however along the line the zoning for the rep seats was taken away from oye Kitty to ikole Kitty. that's what they said they need to arrest that aspirant that politician they, that one too they need to arrest her can imagine look at this look at this one he said kb state politician <laughs> poses for camera as he helps clear Gota in his constituency <laughs> election is fast approaching you guys will see a lot during this election a lot of humble humble politicians i pray okay guys uh, that's where i'm going to hold it thank you so much for watching until we see you next time peace